Hey there YouTube, today we're going to do a comparison video between these two strollers. The one on my right side is the Pivot and the one on my left side is the Omni Plus. Both of these are made by the same company, Evanflow, and they're both recent models that you can buy at any major store such as Walmart or Target. Um, they both sell both of these. Um, if, they're, if they're not in the store, you could get it online as well. So let's go ahead and uh, jump right in and start talking about the similarities, the differences, and just kind of go over both of them at the same time and explain what it is that they both offer, what the features are, and how it works. So the first thing I want to mention to you guys is that both of these strollers have a bassinet plus car seat included. Uh, the car seats come with the base in both of them, and the bassinets for both of them can convert into toddler seats. And both the bassinet and the car seats can hook into their frames. All right, the next thing I want to talk about are the wheels of these strollers. Both of them have four wheels and the front wheels spin 360 degrees on both of them. Now the main difference between these two wheels are the size of the wheels. The Pivot has larger wheels both in the back and the front compared to the Omni Plus. Um, however, the, everything else is just about the same. The material on the tires are the same. Um, one thing that is different, however, are apart from being larger in diameter, they're also wider in the back and the front on the Pivot than they are in the Omni Plus. Now, the bottom basket between these two are very different to me. The one on the Pivot is, looks a lot wider and bigger compared to the one on the Omni Plus. Um, another major difference, uh, one that I really like about the Pivot is when the car seat or the bassinet are, is a, attached to the top, it's much easier to access and throw things or pull things out from the basket underneath compared to this one, which has all the sides really closed up and it's really deep and it's harder to get your hands in there. The frame of these two systems are a little bit different. The way they're designed is just slightly different. The Omni Plus has a sort of a dated look compared to the Pivot, which has a more simpler looking frame, a little bit more uh, modern looking frame. Uh, another major difference to me is the handle up here. This one you can have it bend down. There's uh, various different points that you could put it, the bottom, middle, and right here and you can even go higher if you need apart from that there is also the cup both of them have a place to put a bottle or a cup um, this one has a sort of a larger diameter however this one can expand pretty easily to hold larger diameter bottles uh, however, one, one thing I like about this one is that it's a lot deeper and so it holds things more securely compared to this one. See, this one is just sort of wiggling around. If you make any sort of sudden movements or jerks on this, it just might fall out compared to this one. All right, next up, I'm going to go ahead and fold these two for you guys. Um, they actually fold very differently compared to each other. I'm going to go ahead and fold the pivot first. There's two uh, pull levers here on both sides. You have to pull them and then just push down the handle. At momentarily, if the wheels are positioned correctly, it could stand on its own. Of course, it's a little bit uh, unstable and it'll fall. The next one, the Omni Plus, I'll go ahead and close this next. It's a slightly more complicated. There's pull levers down here and push levers here. You have to do all four of these. So you pull on these two, push on these two, and then you lower the handlebar. Now I'm going to go ahead and do this with the bassinets on them, just so you guys can get an idea of how it looks with the bassinets on it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start off by putting these bassinets on the stroller frames. They both just slide right in and snap into place very similarly.
just like that. Now what I'm going to do is fold both of them up so that they're portable. So both of them, you have to close the canopy on the bassinet, just like that. And both of these bassinets need to fold forward. There's a little knob behind both of these, which you can see here, which you pull up and that lets you swing it forward like that and lock locks that way into place. Same with this one. Just like that. Now that they're both tilted forward, what you're gonna do is for the pivot, there's two levers on both sides, which you pull. And when you pull those levers, you can now push down and it'll fold into this position here. Now this one here, there's four levers, two on the bottom, two on the top. You push down the two on the top first, then the two on the bottom, and you fold it flat down like this. I actually like the system on this one better. It's much easier to fold it down and much easier to bring it back up, as I'll show you right now. The pivot here, when you're gonna bring it back up, it's a little bit more of a hassle. You pull those, you pull this one lever here on this side while you hold on to the bar with your right hand and you pull it up. But as you can see, it's not really in the right position. You have to actually put a lot of force. You have to almost lift the whole thing up so that it can go back into the right orientation. Compared to this one, it's already sitting down flat on the floor the way it should be. And so when you go to pull it back up by again, squeezing the same two levers or four levers, it comes up much more smoothly and locks up into place. This one's just slightly more easier to work with, but they both fold about to about the same amount of room. They take up about the same amount of room when they're folded. All right, now before we continue forward and talk about the bassinets, I'm gonna mention one last thing about this frame. The pivot, which is here on this side, is wider than the Omni Plus over here. I'm gonna go ahead and measure this for you guys so you guys have an exact measurement of how much wider it is. What is that? About 26 inches from the outside of the two, well, yeah, about 26 inches from the outside of the two wheels, maybe a little bit more than 26 inches. While the Omni Plus is only about 23, 23 and a half or so inches from the outside of the two wheels in the back. All right, onto the bassinets. The bassinets are very similar. However, on the pivot, which is this one here, it's sitting slightly higher than the one on the Omni Plus. If you look from the bottom, you can see the difference there. Another difference is the depth uh, on the side where the feet of the baby goes. Um, it's a lot deeper on the feet than it is on this one. They both have pretty good padding. However, they have padding on different sides. So the pivot has feels like it has a lot better padding on the bottom where your baby lays down on. However, the Omni Plus doesn't have as much padding on the bottom, but it does have more padding, which seems to me it has more padding on the sides. I can feel that there's more padding here on these two sides compared to the pivot, which you can almost feel the bare metal on the through it because uh, there isn't enough padding. All right, so let me go ahead and remove the bars off the bassinet real quick and show you guys how that works. The pivot, you have to press both sides, have this little uh, knob or button. You push down on it and you pull it out just like that. It's as simple as that. And you just put it aside. Uh, the one on the Omni Plus is actually better in my point of view because what you can do with this one is only remove one side if you wish and the other side is still connected so you could just swing it aside. You don't have to worry about losing this thing and you can put your baby in or take them out and then all you have to do is just lift it and pop it back in which the pivot cannot do. And of course if you wish to take the whole thing out you can press the buttons over here on both sides and just pull the whole thing out and put it aside. Which leads me down to the harness now. The harness on both of these are, I would say, more similar than different. 
They both have a five point connection, which can convert into a three point connection when you're using it in bassinet mode. When you're using it in seat mode, you should probably use the five point connection. Um, another thing that is sort of similar, they both have this feature where you can move the harness higher up or lower. Uh, but the way they accomplish this is a little bit different. This one has these uh, harness straps, which you can push up. It's a little bit difficult, but you can push it up like this and pull it down to adjust the height here. It cannot disconnect, it's, it's uh, sewed onto the bottom of the, the bassinet here. However, this one here is a little bit different. So that was the pivot. This one's the Omni Plus. And in the Omni Plus, you can see that there is actually a series of uh, slits cut into the bassinet bottom. And these can disconnect from the bottom and you can move them to this slit or move it to the next slit because they're both able to disconnect from the bottom here. The next thing I wanna talk about is the canopy on both of these strollers. Let's start with the uh, Omni Plus on this one. Um, you can just pull it up like this. There's a few indexes where you can pull it up a little bit, a little bit more, all the way. Um, let's go ahead and pull up the other one as well. Very similar, you just grab it and pull it up. Just like that. They have three different points at which you can pull them up. Now let's go ahead and uh, turn them around and talk about the back part, where the flap is to see your baby. They both have one, which is good. However, they're slightly different. This one has Velcro here, which you pull and pull down like this. And inside there is this sort of a plastic see-through panel. Uh, now let's let me go ahead and move this one here as well. This one goes the opposite direction. You have to pull it up. It does stay up, but there's really nothing holding it other than its shape. It contours uh, around like this and holds itself up. And it has, uh, instead of a sort of a see-through plastic window, it has this netting, which allows wind to go in and out. This one doesn't have that netting, so there's no wind flow in this one from this point. Um, another thing I wanna talk about is the Velcro. Uh, since this has Velcro, it does make some noise. So if you're trying not to wake your baby up, this might not be a good idea. All right, so the next part of this video, I'd like to talk about converting these bassinets into seats. I'm gonna go ahead and reach down here. There's the strap on the side, which on both sides, which you can pull together and click into place like that. Now you saw how easy that was. Uh, you'll see why the Omni Plus isn't so easy. Now, before I move to this side, I'm gonna go ahead and tilt the seat down like I did before, like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and you'll see a harness here. And this harness, you're gonna be able to pull like this and that's gonna raise the back part up. Of course, you can use this as well. You have the bar here, nice and secure. Now, before we continue to the Omni Plus, let me also show you one more thing about the pivot that the Omni Plus doesn't have, and that is a tray, which you can hook into it from this side, I believe. Yes, there you go. And the Omni Plus, very similar to how you're going to convert it. It's almost the same. However, perhaps it's a defect on our specific stroller here, but these two straps are very short and it's very difficult to bring them together and clip them together. It's just so, so hard. Last time I tried doing this, it took me a very long time and my fingers got tired while I was trying. It almost clips in, but in the end, it just kind of stops short. Finally, that took a lot of strength and 
my fingers definitely got tired. So let's go ahead and do the back now. Very similar. You just grab the strap, push down on both sides and lift it up. And of course you have to pivot it forward. And the way you do that is there's a little handle here. There you go. Pivots forward. And they're both very similar. The, the pivot actually sits, the seat is a little bit higher, just like it was when it was in bassinet mode. They're both a little bit higher than the Omni Plus. Right now it's facing forward while you move it. You can very easily, there's two levers here, you push down on both sides. This pops out. You can rotate it around just like this and pop it right back into place like that. And now when you're pushing your kit around, um, they're facing you. Same exact thing with the pivot. It's the same thing except slightly different the way it pops out. Instead of uh, these rotating levers here, you have these little push button things. Push down, comes out, around, and locks right back into place, just like that. They're both very easy to do. Um, if I had some preference, I'd say the pivot's a little bit easier with the buttons on top, but they're both not that difficult to do. All right, let's move on to the car seats. Uh, what I wanna do is remove them from the base real quick. Over here, we have the Omni Plus. They both are very similar. They both have these levers down here that you pull. Now, before I pull it, let me go ahead and adjust the handlebar up so that it could go into a more easier to lift mode. Now I'm gonna hold on over here and I'm gonna pull the lever down here and remove the whole thing off of the car base. Same with this one. We are going to do the same thing, very similar. Like that. And off it comes from the base. Now, the bases, for the most part, are very, very similar to each other. In fact, they look like almost exactly the same base. With one exception, the pivot has this bar on the brace, on the base. These car seats both have this feature where you can level it. I shouldn't say car seats, the base. You can level the base uh, when you strap it down. Um, there's this knob here that you twist and it'll pop this plastic portion out which lets you adjust how to tilt the whole base. So it could tilt it up or lower or even lower than that. Another cool feature is this gauge on the side which lets you see when it's leveled. So this green here needs to be lined up with the line that's drawn there. And that's how you know when it's leveled. All right, on to the car seats themselves. On this side here, we have the Omni Plus, and on this side, we have the Pivot. Uh, I see very big differences in these car seats. Um, the Omni Plus is far less padded, and the insert is also very less padded compared to the Pivot, which has a much more beefier insert and it has this whole padding on the top where the head goes on the right, left, and the back of the head. This one does not have that kind of padding. Um, I'm not saying it doesn't have any padding at all. It does have padding, it's just very minimal. Uh, so I definitely like the Pivot better when it comes to padding and comfort. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and put the car seats onto the stroller frames. Uh, before I do that, let me go ahead and lock the back two wheels. This will make it easier and it won't allow the stroller to run away from me while I try to do this one-handed while I hold the camera. So this one is the Omni Plus. You can put it down either direction, uh, backwards or forwards. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one forwards and it just locks into place like that. And here's the pivot. I'm gonna do the same for the pivot. I'm gonna go ahead and lock the back two wheels on it. 
so it doesn't move around on me. Um, just for demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and put this one in backwards, this direction. And again, you just put it down similar to the bassinet. And it just clicks right into place, just like that. One last thing I'd like to mention about the bassinets and their canopies. There is a difference between the Vector and the Omni Plus, I called it Vector, <laughs> the Pivot and the Omni Plus, is that over here, when the sun is hitting your kid from this angle, one thing that the Pivot can do that's really cool is rotate the whole canopy over to that side. Um, there's Velcro down here, which you can disconnect and all you have to do is just pull down and as you can see the whole thing just kind of folds over to the other side if you guys are interested in either of these two strollers um, i'll have the links to them in the description of this video as well as in the comment section